Time now for Smart Charts with Abigail Doodle, where we look at timely topics through the charts. And this week, Abigail, you're taking a look at two of today's biggest earnings movers. Indeed we are, Sarah. We're taking a look at both the shares of Apple and AMD, one going up, one going down with Steve Setmeyer of Bank of America. Thank you so much for joining us as always, Steve. And you know, Apple last year was really incredible, up more than 100%. It's hard to believe that one of the world's largest companies could actually be a double last year, but that was the case, bringing it to that status. Let's take a look at your chart and what do you think sure. is next? Sure. I mean, very successful breakout last year in the middle of the year above that 230 level. And right here, right now, I mean, we, we basically hit the target that we've been looking for around 315 on Apple. Um, you know, our company has a buy rating on this. Our analyst, Wamsi Mohan, really likes the stock. But technically, you know, may need to breathe a little bit before that rally continues. So when I'm looking at this particular chart, we hit the target. Uh, there's a gap level around 304. I mean, the best case scenario, you hold that gap and consolidate and then work your way higher. If you fill that gap, maybe you correct a little bit further, you know, into the, uh, the mid, the, the upper 200s where the 275, 265 range is. The other factor is look at the RSI in your lower panel. We have a divergence right here, right now. And prior divergences have triggered some sort of interruption to the trend. So it wouldn't surprise me. If you got a buyable dip on Apple, um, you know, could hold the low 300s, but maybe it goes to about 275, 260 or something like that. That would be a pretty significant uh, pullback for sure. And that RSI, that fading momentum would seem to support it. Well, speaking of fading momentum, AMD today, last year's best stock, up about 150 percent. Today down, I think, about 7 percent or so. The outlook, not quite enough. So talk to us about this chart and uh, AMD just at the end of last year, finally putting in an all-time high to match what they had seen in 2000. Right, yeah. So this is another buy-rated stock at B of A uh, Securities. Um, Vivek Aria really, really likes his name. Uh, technically speaking, though, when it broke out above 34 last year, I mean, getting up to that 52.50 target seemed like a, a pipe dream, but it did it. Uh -huh. We also exceeded the high from, from June to 2000 around that uh, 48.50 level. So, again, here's another example of a stock that's bullish, bigger picture, mm -hmm. like Apple. Mm -hmm. Both of them are bullish, bigger picture on the charts. But, you know, maybe, maybe a break here. Maybe it pulls back into the low 40s, upper 30s. Before. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because if you look back at what happened in 2018, parabolic uptrend quickly almost reversed all of it. We have that right. parabolic uptrend, so perhaps we do go back there. Let's put yep. this into the context of the socks because... Yes. <laughs> the Sox is pretty interesting. I was just putting out a chart saying uh, ele ele escalator up, elevator down. It definitely <laughs> looks uh, a little nerve wracking right. for that Sox chart for sure. Um, what do you think here within this range? Again, I mean, bigger picture, the Sox is actually in a longer term uptrend. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot more upside I think can come. But right here, right now, the biggest thing I see is one, we broke out, tested the target of the breakout around uh -huh. 1925. That's uh -huh. important. But we also have this gap. And a daily bearish engulfing pattern. It's not a candle yeah. chart, but that's what it is. So, yeah. you know, 1910 is the upper end of that gap. So I think if 1910 holds here tactically, we could see this back and fill. I mean, maybe down for 1700. I mean, maybe hold 1800, but 1700 would be, you know, ideal. You get deeply oversold and provide a great buying opportunity. I think.